So, <laughs> welcome to F That Photo Chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I don't have that real enthusiasm in my system <laughs> right now. I, I'll have that enthusiasm at like four o'clock. <laughs> okay. That's when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mentally. Blink, blink, <laughs> blink. I don't know where we got that from. That's not how our intro goes. Does? Oh yeah, it goes pow, pow, pow. It's not like a <laughs> blink though. Anyways, no, it doesn't go pow. Yeah, it does. I, I never listen to our show. No, I do. I do. I try to listen to it all the time. I usually make it through the main episode. <laughs> okay. So, how was your week? It was good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how was yours? Uneventful, more or less. Except yeah. on, when was it? Either Thursday or Friday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So I get a text from my friend. He's like, go down to the river. There's like a nice mist over top of the water and everything. It looks beautiful. Yeah. So I was like, cool. Okay, so I pack up my stuff and I go down to the river. And I brought my tripod with me. Because I don't normally bring my tripod, but I figured... I would bring it along and try and do some landscapes and stuff like that with it. Yeah. So I get there and I put the camera on the tripod and I put it in position, get a couple shots. And because it's a Manfrotto tripod, like the... Is that the one over there? No. Okay. No. no. It's my good Manfrotto oh, tripod. Oh, okay. Oh, the one that I gave you? The 55? Yes. Super sturdy one? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was using that one, and because the, <laughs> because the camera locks in place, like, I just picked up the tripod and went, right? Oh, no. Well, the tripod, the clip wasn't clipped on, and the camera fell no! off. No! Into the mud. No! <laughs> I am so fucking happy I have Olympus. Because it's like half decently weather sealed? It is beyond half decently weather sealed. Oh my like, god. Is, like, oh. If that happened to me. <laughs> yeah. So I pick it up I and I'm like, camera. fuck. So there's mud on the lens oh and everything. My god. So I, I took the... The lens hood off because the lens hood was just caked in mud and it was yeah. like trying to clean that out as mission impossible <laughs> without running water or something like that. So I just took that off, put it in my pocket and I wiped off the lens the best I could. There was still a little bit of mud caked on, mm -hmm. on the sides and everything like that, but oh well. But then all of a sudden the back screen isn't working. No. And it's funny, I couldn't, I, you can look through the viewfinder, everything works perfectly fine. And you press menu, and it shows up on the back screen, but you can't see the live view on the on the back screen. And what the fuck is going on? <coughs> so I'm playing with some buttons, trying to figure out what I did, and and I just went screw it. And I did a camera reset. So I reset all my settings. Oh my god! And it still wasn't working. <gasps> no. And then I was like, okay. You work at a camera store. You have extended life. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I do, but... Oh, I was like, excuse me. <laughs> but you work at a camera store, go through the process of elimination. And I'm looking at the back of the camera, and I see a little spot of mud over the eye sensor. So when you put your eye up to the camera, <laughs> it switches automatically from the back screen yeah. to the viewfinder, right? And there's a little sensor that it's just over the eye. sensor. <laughs> so yeah, a little piece of mud that's just over the sensor. So you reset it for nothing. All for that. Yeah. Okay, that was a roller coaster of a story. Yes, and I ended up not getting any really good shots, except for those geese in the mist. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The comments on that post were really funny. First of all, starting with mine. <laughs> Well, I feel like I, I commented something about plot twist, like, because I hate geese. Yes, I don't I like geese I don't either. like geese. I don't think, I don't know any Canadian that enjoys geese f from, like, f 
farther than a, a or closer than like a long distance. You know, like they're nice to see. They're not nice to be around. Yeah, well, they're These not even fucking... nice to see. Like they're. Yeah, no. Well, you see was... them, they're like, oh, the fucking birds. Yeah, but everybody <laughs> feels that way about their own geese. Yeah, because if you talk to someone who's not from Canada about geese. Be like, oh, a beautiful Canadian goose. I'm like, look at that shit hawk up there. Like, you yeah. know, like that's a no, but like a seagull. My friend <laughs> Jerry in Africa, they have uh, Egyptian geese. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, and they are kind of cool looking. Is it just geese that are shitty though? Yeah. Okay. Because he, they, everyone hates fucking Egyptian geese. Everyone in Africa, sorry. They kind of look a little bit cool, but not really. Egyptian. But they're like. I was excited to see an Egyptian goose, and that only lasted like five oh. minutes. It's kind of cool looking. It still looks like a shitty goose. Yeah, yeah. All geese are fucking. Even the like, annoying. like white, beautiful like the geese. snow geese. Ugh. Yeah. But they're assholes. Yep. Oh yeah. So, anyways, yeah. My comment was like. Plot twist, they're planning your murder <laughs> from behind the fog. Because that fog reminded me, have Have you heard of, I haven't even seen it, um, Silent Hill? Yes. That's what I think of when I think of fog. Okay. I've seen, I've, I don't, I have not seen, I think it's movies, right? It's not, there's Silent Hill movies. Yeah. And there's video games. Yeah. I've seen like bits and pieces from both. I think there's Just only one passing. Silent Hill movie. Okay, maybe there's multiple video games then. Yes. Yeah. Um... But I've only seen bits and pieces. But anyways, fog I associate with that. I was like, this is like Silent Hill with geese, but I didn't want to write that. Yeah. Well, you should read the book from Stephen King. I think it's called The Mist. Oh, it's on my list. It's oh, going to go after all those ones you gave book. me. Yeah. They would charge still sitting on my shelf because I have to find the first one. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't finished three of the books I have on the go right now. Oh, you got three going at the same time? Yes. So I can't I have do that, man. I Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, but you've read that one multiple times. No, I haven't. I've, oh, okay. This is my first time. Oh, okay. I've read... It took me like a year and a half to read The Hobbit. I'm not a good reader. Yeah. <laughs> ADHD. <laughs> um, yeah, I've read The Hobbit, and that was amazing. And then I started Fellowship of the Ring, and I stopped because we just recently did our Lord of the Rings marathon again. Yeah. And I can't say no to that. But at the time, I was reading the first book. And I was like, fuck, I don't want to like do two at the same time. The books are way better. Yeah. Um, of course. They always so are. So I have that on the go. I have a really cool book that I'm actually thoroughly enjoying, but I just never sit down and read anymore. It's called The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. It's dope. Okay. It's uh, about a... I don't want to give it away. It's. I'll give you the plot so far. I'm not very deep into the book. <laughs> Um, it's about a girl who is originally from like the 1700s okay. in Paris and she's been cursed, um, to be forgotten by everybody she meets, okay. but she has like, from my understanding right now, she's like immortal. Okay. But anytime she leaves anybody's line of sight, they forget who she is. Oh, wow. She can't say her real name like all this stuff it's actually it sounded i was reading the beginning and i was like this sounds like a teen like weird novel yeah and then i was starting to read it and i was like this is actually really good that's interesting so it's it's really good um so like even if she goes into like a clothing store she this girl can't have a job because nobody remembers who she is or anything so it kind of flips between like 2014 and like different eras so far, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in between 2014 and like the 1700s as to how everything kind of happened. Okay. Um. Anyways, that's really good. And then what else do I have on the go? I had another one. Oh, Pet Cemetery, which has been in progress since October. Okay. I stopped after Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick up in October again. Yeah, and then I have a pile of. I think you gave me four books. Yeah. But I need to find the first one. Yeah, Odd Thomas from uh, Dean Koontz. Oh, such good books. Part of me just wants to go, this isn't news, part of me wants to go off grid forever <laughs> and just read all the time and like just disassociate from technology, but I know I could not do that. Yeah, no. I can't even stay off Instagram for a day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that 
that was coming from. You're yeah. Talking, oh, we were talking about the murder keys. Yeah, murder keys. I feel geese. like I interrupted you. What Sorry. was the other thing that was... The other comments on the murder geese. Oh, Doyle wrote something about them about to do the dirty or something. Yes. And I was yeah. like, yeah, those... And I, I was like, oh, that's an unfortunate, like collection of comments you have so far instead of being like beautiful photo one of them's like the geese are gonna murder us and the other one's like the geese are gonna do it <laughs> poor chuck you choose these people to yep. be in your life yep 